Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all good. In today's video we're going to be doing some marble tip ombres using the Wow Bow acrylic system. I'm working on my Glamalis practice hand. I have already applied my tips and a clear base so I'm going to jump in first of all and show you the colours that we're going to be using. So first up we have Lie Lucky which is a really soft pastel lilac colour. And then I'm also going to be using a wild flower. I love this one. The camera doesn't quite pick up the color here, but it's a really nice coral pink color. Thirdly, I have Cinderella. Now, Cinderella is one of the faves out of the ones I'm going to be using today. It's a mauve color, but it has a really soft shimmer to it as well. And then the fourth color that we're going to be using in the marble is lemonade and lemonade is a really soft pastel yellow color so i felt as though these four colors really worked well together now i've left the first nail in real time so you guys can kind of get a idea of how quick or how slow i work um, but the rest of the nails I'm going to speed up so it's not really repetitive. But to begin with, I'm placing wet beads down of the four colours. So as you can see, they're starting to run where they're quite wet. And then I'm bringing my brush into a point and I'm just pulling it through them and creating that marble effect. Now I worked slightly wetter than what I normally would when doing a marble because I didn't want this to be a too defined marble. I was kind of going for that bit of a tie dye effect. So I wanted the colours to really run into one another and where they are very similar shades as though they're all quite pastel and soft minus the cinderella it really worked well i felt anyway on the tip here i'm just applying a little bit of that cinderella to pull it through because there was a little bit of a gap at the very tip of the nail i'm patting those sides and pulling off any excess acrylic and then I'm going to finish this marble because I wanted to bring it a little bit further down the nail. So I'm coming in with the wildflowers again. And then this time I'm adding some more of the Cinderella. And then I'm going to add a little bit of lemonade there as well too. Again, bring my brush to a point and then just swirl backwards and forwards through them. I'm just going to blend this back because like I said we're creating a marble ombre so you don't want there to be too much of a harsh line so that's why I've just blended that acrylic back into the natural nail bed area slightly and it'll just help soften it so that when we pop our cover color over the top it creates a really soft blend just patting this acrylic out and blending it out. It doesn't matter too much if your marble ends up a little bit lumpy bumpy because once you encapsulate in your clear acrylic, it smooths it all out anyway. So now I'm going to speed through and do exactly the same on the remaining three nails. Now what I did is I didn't want all of these marbles to look exactly the same. So on some of them you'll see that I come in with two beads rather than all four. I used a little bit more of one colour compared to the previous nails. So this time I used a little bit more of the yellow and the Cinderella I believed. Just so that although all the nails will look very similar, they look a little bit different. But I'm working very similar with how I'm placing my beads down and working quite wet with them. If you want a more defined marble, then I recommend having one or two slightly more contrasting colours compared to the other two. And also to work ever so slightly drier. You still want to work wet when you're doing a marble. But I find if I work that a little bit drier, I'm able to create those more defined marble lines. But one of the things I love about acrylic marbles is you can really play around and create lots of different effects however like I said for this particular one I wanted the colors to mush together a little bit more I was going for that tie-dye effect so I wanted them to not look too defined and run into each other a little bit more so I'll just let you guys watch this bit and I'll jump back when it comes to applying our core color
Now this is what the nails looked like once I had finished doing the marbles. So although we've used all the same colours and the same techniques, they all do look slightly different. So I'm then going to come in with Wow Bow's Crown Blush. This is one of their core colours. And as you can see, it's a really soft baby pink colour. And I love this one for ombres. I've not played around and done too many Wow Bow ombres. But this particular one is really easy for doing an ombre because it blends out beautifully. So I've picked up a large bead. I've placed it down just slightly away from the cuticle area. And then I'm holding that finger down so that I can push the acrylic up in towards the cuticle without it running back and flooding that cuticle area. Again, I've left the first nail in real time so you can kind of see how I work with my brush and the acrylic. And then I'm just very gently tapping it into place and pulling it down to create that blend because this is a core color i've left a majority of it in that cuticle and apex area because i don't technically need to fully encapsulate this nail because the core color doesn't need to be encapsulated but obviously we do need to encapsulate the marble and the fade area to protect those from filing now here I'm just using the very tip of my brush just to tuck that in and get it as close to what would be that cuticle skin as possible. Annoyingly I had a little bit of glitter stuck there in my acrylic so I just got that out and then I'm just using my wet brush to smooth out that acrylic a little bit more. One of the things I'm loving about the Wow Bow powders or acrylic system is I find that you get quite a bit of playtime with it which is nice because especially if you're a beginner because it gives you a little bit of time to come back in and correct your application. Now I kind of try to work as neat and as clean as I can with my application so that there's minimal filing to do at the end but at times it can be a little bit tricky. So I'm going to repeat that step on all of the nails. So again, placing it down ever so slightly away from the cuticle area. I'm just slightly tilting the finger down because it's a little bit tricky to do on my practice hand. But when I'm working on myself especially, I really tilt the finger down. So when you place that bead of acrylic down at the cuticle area, it's not going to run back and flood the acrylic, the cuticle, sorry. And it also just gives you a little bit more control over the product because you're able to push it up to where you want it to be. So you'll just see here I'm pushing it up towards the cuticle, just tapping it into place and then pulling the top of that bead of acrylic down to create our blend. And it blends out beautifully over the marble. As you can see, I'm not really having to do too much work to it as such. I'm just blending it down and it creates a really soft fade. Again, I'll just let you guys finish off watching this step and then I'm going to come in and encapsulate. Once again, this is what the nails looked like once we'd finished that step. So I'm now going to come in and encapsulate. I just left capping one nail in the video because I do it exactly the same on all of the others. Because these nails are quite long, I'm starting roughly three quarters of the way down the nail, placing my bead down and just working on a capping at the very tip of the nail to begin with. Again, I'm trying to keep my application as neat as possible. I work slightly wet up when it comes to encapsulating so that I can so that the bead can kind of just flow into place itself and I'm just doing a very minimal work with my brush. Always check in from all angles of the nail that we're putting the structure in correctly. Again, I don't stress too much about structure when I'm working on my glamour lids, but I do try to make sure that it's very close to what I would do if I was working on myself. So here I've placed down that apex bead. Now, because we've built up a lot of our apex using the core colour, I'm kind of just popping a thin layer down over that area. Off camera, I did the exact same on all of the nails. I also did all of the filing and buffing off camera. Made sure to give the nails a good clean to remove all of the dust. And I'm then going to come in with the Wow Bow Diamond Shine No Wipe Top Coat. I said it in my previous video, but I'm absolutely loving this top coat. It gives off such a beautiful glassy finish. So I'm just going to apply a thin even layer of this to all of the nails and then I'm going to pop them in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. 
And that guys is pretty much the end of the video. So it was just a short and sweet set. I quite liked how these turned out though. They give me a bit of a spring vibe. I love anything that's ombre or marble. So they were really fun to do. I really hope you all enjoyed watching. If you did, then please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up or leave me a comment below. If you're watching and you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you considered subscribing. And once again as well, if you have any requests, please pop them in the comments below and I will be happy to give them a go. Take care, keep safe. I hope you're all doing okay, by the way. Lots of love and I shall see you all again in the next video. Bye-bye.